Hello everyone. Thanks for watching this video. In this video, today we are going to understand how to find the first repeating element. In previous video, that is one, we understood that how to find the first non-repeating element. But now our goal is to find the first repeating element. If you see our input array, you will be getting 19th which got repeated immediately. Okay, So our output is 19. If you see 24, this got repeated also but this got repeated with the last value of the array. So our goal is to find the first repeating element which is 19th here. Again the same recommendation if you are watching this video directly and if you are not good with the array. Okay, and if you want to learn the basic operation, you must watch this playlist, okay, which is available in API Puthi playlist. However, we will provide you the link also in our description. Okay, let's move then. So, we have our input ready. So, our responsibility is to create the API called get first repeating element okay here in here we are going to pass array as a argument since any everything we are doing through the array only and we are going to create the method accordingly okay good we got the input here as soon as we receive the input from user as per earlier our first responsibility is to secure the input so we are going to create one input local variable okay and inside that we are going to check whether we received value correctly or not and for that we have array dot to string method which will help you to print the array element without loop without any for loop so let's have an sop here saying that input element okay good now let's have one variable call length equal to input dot length array length basically okay since we are going to find the first repeating element so we must going to do the scan of this array and we are going to compare each and every element so scanning array we are going to do do through the for loop we already have length variable which is holding the array dot length so we need not to create another okay let's have another loop also called j which is again doing the scanning of the loop this will give you the first element which got scanned with the all the element from the array and which is again from the 0th index only means entire array good fine now we are going to put the condition that since we are going to find the repeating element so input of array of i equal to equal to input of array of j okay then we are going to say that element matched okay and we are going to return input of i okay no big logic we are returning and we are printing void now it's time to change it to the int since we are returning in, so at the end also we are going to return something minus 1. Okay. Now question is if you see i is also starting from 0 and j is also starting from 0. So in first loop, we are comparing two same element means 19th and 19th which is always equal. Okay. That we should not do. So for that we are just to make sure that we are comparing the two different element 
first element coming from the ith loop and second element coming from the jth loop. However, both the element coming from the same array. Okay. So, i does not equal to j. This condition must be true. Okay. Then only we will got the matched element. Since we are returning in, so we can secure, we can print our output also int output equal to here and we are going to print that's why yes so. so what is the first repeating element okay if you see we are going to print the output good now let's run this program see 19th is the first repeating element which got repeat with the 19th it got matched with the first and last index now question is why i return minus one this is because that you can have one condition here if output equal to equal to minus one okay then you can say that uh, this is not first repeating element just for our understanding else if you got anything um, this is also not actually we don't need 19 okay okay now if you run this program you will see there is no first non since all elements are uniquely okay now let's move as per our input okay yeah so let me again summarize you our main goal is to find the first repeating element okay so first repeat to find the repeating element first we need to compare the two element first element we got from the first loop second element we got from the second loop okay and we are make sureing that we are uh, comparing two identical element that's why we are keeping one another check here the i index i should not equal to index of j that's then we are printing input of i if any of if all the elements are unique then we are printing returning minus one we don't need this sop here now let's run this program run as java application and if you match you are getting 19 as a expected output which is correct yeah thanks for watching this video